Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on New Year's Eve, well, afternoon. This is my dayatthetrack.com thoroughbred race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks. 3.34 p.m. Eastern Post Time, 7 furlong sprint on the dirt, 3 year olds and up race for an allowance prize of some $50,000. Contenders number 4, Indian Jones, number 6, Arlo, number 1, Adirondack King, and number 5, Piquant. Number four, Indian Jones, takes the least severe step up in class this afternoon to enter this allowance field. Has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in four, including back-to-back -back power run wins in his fourth and fifth races back. Jockey Era Lewis Vaz and trainer Phil Aristone send them to the post. They fit the board with an even 50% of their entry saddle as a team to date. Number six, Arlo, a four to one shot, qualifies as a power pony. His excellent early speed abilities to complement for this sprint has hit the board in power run fashion. Three of his last five starts, including a power run win in his second race back. Race 8 summary, number 4, Indian Jones, tops my contenders list this afternoon here at Parks, which also includes number 6, Arlo, number 1, Adirondack King, and number 5, Piquant, 4615 in the 8th from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots, Turfway Park in Kentucky Racing today, race 9, number 1, Paloma P, 6-1 to in the morning line, qualifies as a power pony, drops in class by some 15 track master units, Nice speed for the six for a long sprint. Turf Paradise, race eight, the nine to two shot, number five, Landita, qualifies as a power pony. The overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at six for a long on the dirt. So from Parks Racing on New Year's Eve, Rick Needham for dayatthetrack.com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.